<laughs> let me ask you about this. So yeah. I have, uh, well, for various reasons, uh, my wife is is not drinking for the next okay nine months. <laughs> 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 And I went to Vegas with my buddies last weekend. Okay. We all went. Me, my wife, and their my buddies and their wives. So it was. Uh, I had my spiritual hazmat suit on me. Uh, you can't get in trouble that way. But you know, I I I decided after this trip that I am done with her too. With with the, with the drinking too. And I got to admit, the last it's been like four days. Uh huh. And I'm not a heavy drinker, but I do like to have a drink. Right. You know, once uh, you know, once a night, I like I like a sugar-free Red Bull vodka around four thirty, maybe another one around six thirty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. and then I'm usually done, depending on it, a couple more shots. But I gotta going. say that it's you know the the these last couple of days, I've really had this urge to, and I was like, I don't have a problem. Maybe I do have a problem. You know, eat, eat you don't have to be a fall down drunk. I don't think to 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 have a have an issue, and I feel like maybe I do. And, and I feel like that alone will enhance my life. People that I know, like you, and are, are you mm-hmm. in yeah. the mm-hmm. beverage program? Yeah. Everybody that I know that's done it, Dax is another one. Dax is a good buddy of mine. Uh, I played golf with Jason Bateman uh, at the AT&T. These guys' lives have just, like, elevated from it. I'm oh, like, dude, maybe there's sure. something to that. Here's there's the a- thing. Any other disease... The best you can hope for is to get back to as healthy as you were before you got sick. Yeah. But for us, when we treat our disease, we become a better version of ourselves than we ever were before. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. see that a lot. And it's just kind of done on reason because I don't have a drinking problem. And I'm not sure I'm a... Maybe I am. Uh, there's but I, cl- there's clearly something there that I feel like I want to explore Yeah. what the potential is just taking it out there's different categories of uh of drinkers there's uh what's the first one problem drinker Mm -hmm. and um this is the the person who recognizes they have a problem and and are able to moderate or stop altogether Mm -hmm. i don't remember and then uh and then what alcoholic by depth by definition means that that you 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 want to stop, but you just can't. Yeah. You know, you've got this powerlessness yeah. mm-hmm. to to stop, and um, I think it's a little bit, as a rule of thumb, uh, if nobody who's not an alcoholic ever wonders if they're an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. Yeah. There you have it. That, that, that could be a rule of thumb. Um, My, mine was like I was more of like trying to stop and not and then but i was i was more resentful of myself for like operating at like 60 percent my potential yeah and i felt I like that's where i'm at yeah honestly yeah at the, yep. on, on the other hand though like for example if if you go on any kind of a diet mm-hmm. you know like oh i'm gonna like eat less yeah. you know like as soon as you decide you're on a diet all you can think about is food yeah you right. know, so the very act of of seeking to quit like yeah. just makes you obsessed with it. Yeah, that that uh, calls to mind the saying, "What you resist will persist." Yeah. So if you're trying to resist it, yeah. then um, then that makes it more difficult. Yeah. And I think that for us, we call it consider it rather than resisting it, we we surrender yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, we we uh, surrender and we admit defeat. Yeah, but it has it has nothing to do with the alcohol or whatever the vice is. It's like, what are you covering up? And so, yeah. like the the very fact of like not medicating or numbing, like mm-hmm. the things that come up, yeah. are the things that you have to deal with. Mm-hmm. And then once you deal with them, your life gets better. <coughs> it's not yeah. like oh, I quit drinking, my life gets better. It's like things are going to come up in your head mm-hmm. where like maybe you're shoving down. And you're probably more able to deal with them. With yeah, the sober. but you don't even know what's coming up because you're like, oh, it's, I'm going to have a drink. Yeah, And exactly. then it's like, cool. But then as it comes up, you're like, oh, fuck, what mm-hmm. is that? And then, you know, it might be like a, a fear of directing or whatever the next yeah. It's like, then once you're like, oh, wait, what is that? And then you're like, it's plaguing me. And you start talking about it. And then you don't talk to somebody and it actually has something to do with something else that you fix. That's why your life gets, because the ripple yeah. effect off right. that root cause right. 
is yeah. what makes it better. Yeah. It's like the thing on the desk with the balls that are hanging. Like you pull back one ball yeah. and then you let it go. But it's actually some like the fourth ball down that pops off. Yeah. You know? Right. Like right. what's kicking off isn't the actual issue. Mm -hmm. It's something underneath. Yeah. yeah I always wish I like, you know, this alcoholic I am is like, I always wish that I worked the steps of the 12 step program before I quit drinking. So I, my life could have gotten better and I could have still drank. <laughs> you know, I was always like, fuck, why didn't I do this like when I was like 18? Because then I could still drink and have a good, but like, yeah. that's not. Yeah, you know. mine is, mine's never been the guy who wakes up in the morning and has to continue. Right. But it is yeah. something that, you know, I've become accustomed to having a drink. And it's, and I've realized recently that it's holding me back, you know, and it's, and it's, it's numbing me out to a point where I'm not as present as I need to be. I'm not as creative as I could be, and and you know I could, I'm a, I'll, I'll be a better. I'm I'm hoping because of this and dealing with the stuff that will come up, and it does it is coming up now because the last few nights I'm like oh, this is normally when I go. But what I've done is I've just gone and done yoga instead, or mm -hmm. I've gone and worked out instead. So I'm trying to do things to replace that three hour gap where I would normally be craving yeah. a, a. Yeah, they they say like in the first couple of weeks when you quit drinking it. Uh, and you have that urge, have a piece of chocolate because the sugar is the same okay. sugar that your body's yeah. craving. Huh. That's Just why. Chew on some chocolate. You've they, heard that too? Yeah, yeah I've, at, I've heard that. At AA meetings, they have a lot of cookies and cake around uh, for that reason. Huh. Yeah, it's okay. You know, so to your point, if I do, or you're, I can't, can't remember whose point now. Are you drunk? Yeah, maybe I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't been like, I'm done, you know, because I, I know that if the, the more right. I resist it, the more it'll persist. So it's like, I'm just going to try this till January. And hopefully by that time, I'll be past it and I'll have enough distance between me and it that I won't need it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I get to a place, you know, I, I, the idea of never having one again is a little bit freaky to me, but just taking a break from it for a while and, and doing the work to support it, I think will help. Yeah, they, uh, they, it's something that helped me. It said, if you imagined, you know, all of the laundry that, you know, for the rest of your life, it'd be, yeah. you know, man, there's a lot of laundry, but you just do one load at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah do, you, do you drink during the buddy games? Oh, yeah. So you probably think ahead, like, fuck, well, I'm not going to be able to drink at that buddy game. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. I mean, it's like, a, you know, the lake. This, I spend a lot of time at my lake cabin, yeah. and there's always a bush light. Yeah, for sure. It you sounds know? like, but, like, it, it sounds like the scariest situation to me, because I consider myself so lucky that it got as bad as it did that mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. had to address it. Yeah. You know, what? like, the way that I was could not continue yeah. it just needed to be addressed yeah. it was urgent and as a result because i addressed it here i've like you know i've been yeah. able to free up so much time and get super focused yeah. and make less mistakes and, yeah you but know, do you think you would have addressed it if they if knoxville and them didn't come and i mean they dude, they, 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 i was out of gas at the end of the run weren't you trying to like <laughs> weren't yeah, you yeah. trying to like throw yourself off a building I for mean, a yeah, stunt so, like it, it was it was all bad what, what scares me is the idea of of it, uh, of kind of having alcoholism, just a little bit, just enough to interfere with, you know, like uh, your life, interfere with your relationships, slow mm -hmm. you down, like kind of walking in quicksand a little bit, yeah. you know, but it's not so bad that it needs to be addressed, so it just goes on and on and yeah. on. Yeah. I feel like I know people who have just had years kind of slip through their fingers yeah. and then the years turn into decades and the next thing you know, you're old and you're thinking man like yeah like uh i didn't operate at my highest potential yeah yeah so, it, took, it took me a while to quit drinking because i was like oh there's a wedding in two weeks yeah or there's a friend going away so there, yeah. but there's always something yeah but then again i think it's worth noting that you're evidently doing pretty well <laughs> you know i think that well, but it's, it's relative because he's probably like what's my potential if i'm doing this right. well yeah maybe i mean i i i am able to 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 accomplish things but i'm not operating as as efficiently as I should be or I mean, could be. You feel I, like you're I, eating you know. soup with a fork? <laughs> kind of. I'm still getting full. I'm still doing, I'm still like, I'm still getting stuff done, but not as 
clear headed as I need to be. You know, I'm a little bit slow in the morning or I'm, you know, what? not as present as I should be as a father, which really yeah, that's, that's, bums uh, me out. I'm a good dad, but I feel like I could be a really good dad if I were. Yeah. How old are you kid now? Nine. Ooh, okay. You know. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that that's that's important. Yeah. Um, In uh, our beverage program, mm-hmm. the, the literature is pretty clear that, um, you know, if, if, if uh, you think you have a problem, like, you know, this is how it works, yeah. but, but, you know, if you're not sure, then yeah. go, go give it another try, yeah. you know, but if you find yourself going around the loop where you, 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 you don't want to drink and you died, ah, I went and did it, you know, yeah. and like, and, and then you're going, then maybe think about like actually, yeah. um, following the path laid out in the yeah. book of the beverage program. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh. this is you probably didn't see this interview going this direction. Hey, did you? Whatever, it's all good. We, 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 <laughs> it we seems love to happen it, right? quite a bit with us. I think, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah people... we love it. Like, like I'm, I'm pretty careful about um, just like if it comes up organically, I'm happy to yeah. talk about it. But I don't like wave yeah. the flag. I don't yeah. lead with it. It's yeah. never my primary purpose. Yeah. Well, and... I think between us, we have 30 years here, right? Yeah. We have 15, yeah. 10, five, five, yeah, 30, yeah, five, yeah. 10, 15. You're 15 years clean yeah. now. Wow, damn. Yeah. And it's crazy, huh? That is nuts. Next thing you know, you're the same age as old people. (laughs) (laughs) That's the truth. That's liquiddeath.com slash Stevo for 20% off of your first order of apparel. And if you haven't seen Liquid Death Apparel, it's epic. It's hilarious. It's epic. The social media for this company is like, I think they're the most followed beverage drink like i don't know i mean dude they're killing it so support liquid death by going to liquiddeath.com slash stevo buying the tea on amazon your local retailers just support this company man yeah dude